That's the music we used to salivate to in the early 1970s when Monday Night Football really took off. This weekend marks uh, its 45th anniversary as a national pastime. And it's hard to think of a Monday night game as a pastime, but in a way it has because it's so transformed the very nature of uh, sports broadcasting completely, uh, particularly, obviously, football. Um, and it was Pete Rozelle's, the commissioner's wish at the time, to move the NFL not away from just the weekend. And so moving into Monday night seemed to really work. And then he had a cast of characters that, that people just grew to really like. Um, Howard Cosell moved over from boxing and became really the real color character. Dandy Don Meredith was a quarterback for the Cowboys, and, and he'd always had this funny song, the light, turn out the lights, the party's over, when the uh, game was out of hand for some team. And then Frank Gifford, who recently died uh, uh, with the New York Giants, um, they really seemed to work together and, and, uh, and made this an entertainment I a game more than just a football game. And it was that that sort of uh, camaraderie and almost comedy that integrated with a great sports action package with double the cameras that we'd had in, in other games. So, but it was really, in a way, about money. It's about capitalizing, making more money. And that, now we offer Thursday night football and Sunday night football, and it's Roger Goodell has taken the, the reins and uh, uh, he's pledged to turn football into a $25 billion a year industry, and he's already at half that goal right now. So um, Monday Night Football is going to stay, and, and football is here to stay.